Hey, I'm Rhonda with HHH Enterprises in Abilene, Texas, and today I'm going to show you a really fun project that you can make at home, quick and easy, and have a lot of fun. It's a red sheet. What you want to do is glue stick the back of it to hold it in place and apply that right on top of your buckle. This makes a great colorful backing. This is our designer pendant. It has a bell on it or a little loop as some people know it. Two, it just needs to be cut off with a pair of pliers and trimmed down, maybe even filed a little. You take your mama tried paper. These have been pre-cut. Our, our Rowdy Cowgirl collection. I'm going to smooth that in. Go ahead and press all the air bubbles out of your paper. Air bubbles pressed out. Next you're going to take some ball chain. That's what you find on dog tags. And a little E6000 glue. Fantastic to work with. You take a toothpick and you gently apply glue around the edges of this paper. It goes out real smoothly with the toothpick. Finished up getting the glue around. Now you take your ball chain and you gently stick it on top of that glue. This finishes out your buckle, covers the edge of the paper nicely, and adds a little bit more dimension, interesting dimension, to your buckle. See how easy that goes? Just set it right on there. And work it into the corners. The ball chain is all in place. It looks cool. Next, we're going to take some Envirotex High Gloss Resin Finish. This is a simple finish. You simply mix one-to-one -one on the hardener and the resin. I use a little medicine cup. It has all kinds of measurements, and I use the dram measurement. You pour it on. That's plenty. You can smear it around with the paintbrush. It's the easiest way to go. Get it under the edges of the ball chain. And it will dry nice and clear and hard. This also is, acts as an adhesive to make sure that it stays on better. Alright, we have the glaze totally over your, the piece here. Okay, excellent job. What I like to do with Envirotex glaze is take a hair dryer and shoot it for three to five seconds to make all the air bubbles rise to the top. And then you want to let Envirotex dry for about 24 hours and you will have a nice finished quality glaze. Let's move to our topper piece here. Same thing, you should still have plenty of Envirotex left. Just going to pour it right on top of the little picture. Smooth it out. little pendant is funny, a funny phrase. It's a cowgirl. It says, Mama tried. Makes people laugh. Fun to wear. Good color. Retro cowgirls. Okay. Now, we're going to let this dry for 24 hours right beside this. And I'll show you what to do next. Make sure you have total coverage. Make sure you zip it with your hair dryer. Uh, check it in about five more minutes. Tomorrow, when it's dry, you'll have your two pieces like that. Let me move the drying pieces or curing pieces over to a board. That'll be ready. Again, take your E6000 glue and you want to apply it to the back of a, one of our pendant pieces. I like to get a pretty good blob of glue on this. It's a heavy piece. 
uh, get it in the center so when you press down it will smooth out underneath more of the pendant. All you're going to do here is just take your piece, center it, you want to glue that on. Again, E6000 is going to take you about 24 hours. I like to add a finishing touch of a few crystals. Again, using E6000 and a toothpick, I uh, pick up a crystal with that. I'm going to go ahead and just dab my glue into each corner. Depends on how much bling you like. I, th I like just enough to make it sparkle. Although there are some pieces, you, this chain, there's a beautiful crystal chain that is nice to line here where the ball chain is if you are really like a blingy thingy. Alright, so I've got my crystal now. I'm just going to pick it up with the edge of that and set it down on top of my glue. What I'm actually going to do is flip that over and use my finger. I don't want, if you get glue on top of your crystals, it takes the fire out of them. So you want to just gently pick them up on your finger. You can dab your finger on a wet sponge and put the crystals in. Now I'm going to let that sit another, oh, 24 hours is the best way to, way to go. And you will have a great buckle to wear to your next rodeo event <laughs> or church or wherever. Um, do check this. Alright, check this about every 15 minutes to make sure the pieces haven't uh, slid out of place. Just use your toothpick to gently place it and then it'll be ready to go tomorrow.